Good evening. In this video I will show you how the windows are made and how the top of the house is made and in the next video after that one I will show you how the roof will be installed and the chimney will be glued. Until now the chimney is loose as you can see it's just it's not near it's not yet glued. This is cardboard strips, which I decided to not use coffee strips, coffee stir, stirring sticks, as it would take too long, and I thought it would be much more practical and much faster to make them out of cardboard. So that's what I did. This this is completely out of cardboard. as you can see made out of cardboard these strips you can make a special strip color as somebody showed on another YouTube tutorial his name is Philip Stevens and he made a very practical strip color and I am going to make one like that too, but for the moment uh, I just do it with a scissor. And still we here have to make a window and the front still it hasn't been done. But as you can see the cardboard adds a nice relief to it. And what you, of course, first have to do is you need to mark where are going to come our strips in the windows. And I just copy them from my template, which I showed you in one of in the first video. I think this is the template. And you copy that onto your wood. You, you can't glue it onto the wood because then. The result would be disappointing. I mean, you could glue it onto here and then put the card strips on, but it won't work like that. You'll need to copy it. You can just tape it temporarily, tape it with some paper tape, and then with a nail, with a needle, sorry, a needle, you could um, go pierce it through there where the important spots are and then take away the paper and like that connect all the points and then you would have the it would be easier than measuring everything again but um, I'm sure you will find a way how to I just did it by eye well the first thing we'll do after that we marked everything is to take a cardboard this is cardboard from a pizza box for, for example it could be from breakfast cereals. This is from Pixel, but it has a side which is very glossy, glittering. And that's not uh, ideal for gluing. It won't glue won't stick to that. So we take some sandpaper grit 120 and we give it a good sanding till the Gloss, glossy shine is gone. Let's say we did it. The next step is to mark strips. I use in this case a thing like this and a sharp pencil. And you mark a straight edge. Mm. 
and then we measure out to how long it should be more or less. I'm going to do this side strip here, this one. And then I might mark roughly a little bit longer to where it will get. And then the next step is that I cut away a piece of this cardboard so that it will be more handy to handle. When it's long, it won't be that easy to handle. When it's a bit shorter, it will be easier. And then the next step is that I cut along the straight edge which we marked. And I try to cut as good as possible. And for this, this, this um, strip cutter would be ideal from Philip Stevens. But if you have some patience, you can do it also with a, with a scissor. When we have our straight edge, and the sanded part is this part. And then I lay it there and control if it's okay, and I see it's not okay. So we'll mark once again and try again. It should be more or less straight. If it's, it isn't straight, then it's no good. When cutting, keep it as wide as possible at the time, and don't close it completely when cutting. Try to keep it as wide as possible, your scissor, because it will work better. We lay it there and control if it's more or less straight, and yes, it's much better now. Now I lay it onto here and I mark how wide the strip should be cut on one side and on the other side. And again I mark a straight line so that we finish that part. And then we cut off the strip. We cut it as accurately as possible. That's the problem when you leave it for a long time. Oh, finally, we got it open. Then the next thing you'll need is two toothpicks or a nail, and a, a nail which I made myself with a handle, and a toothpick. toothpick. The toothpick is used to apply the glue onto the strip. And we need to do one final thing. We cut, we cut, we need to cut the strip to length. And we do this by eyeballing the inclination. We lay the strip onto our, onto our 
work working surface where it has to be glued and we lay it exactly where it needs to be and then we mark the inclination on one side and cut it off we lay it back again Now we need to mark the other side. And we'll cut it off too. And then we take our toothpick and just a little bit of glue, very little, and we apply it on the place where you want the strip to come. Or you can do it on the strip too, but I prefer to do it on the place where it has to come. Don't ask me why, I just find it better. Don't apply too much because all excess will be squeezed out and wiped away after. And then we take our strip and put it with the correct top to the top and lay it into on its place. And gently tip press it on its place. The excess will squeeze out and we remove that excess on the inside. On the outside doesn't matter, we will still sand this side here a little bit with some sandpaper glued on, on a piece of piece of plywood, thin plywood. So here it doesn't really matter if there's a lot of glue, you can wipe it away as well. And then you apply your strip. As you can see, we gently press, hardly don't touch it, but gently press it everywhere and leave it to dry overnight till the next day. And then we do this next strip. As you can see, the first strip is installed. And then you do the other one, the next one. Well, this is a time consuming job. It takes a lot of time. We mark the other one. First, we cut it till it's the width we want. And then we cut it to length as well. And we cut it as well.
no, we have to cut it to length. So we lay it down where it has to be and eyeball the inclination. Make sure it doesn't move while you're marking. Let me see. We might better do this side first. And we'll see if it fits. And it seems it fits. Now we can do the other side. You'll have to be very observant. Observe, observe, observing. Observing is the word, yes. Observing. And critical. It's very important that the strips are not made too wide because then your model will be unrealistic. Then we can apply glue on the other side, on this side here. Again, not too much. Now we can put our strip on the place where it should be. We gently press everywhere so that we are sure that there is contact. We wipe away the excess of the glue. And with a nail in the corners we can remove as well the excess. We verify, we control if it's really on the place we want to be, want it to be. And I think it's okay. No, the second strip. Now the next strip will be the bottom one. So again we take our cardboard with a straight line and again we mark the width. Then we lay it into place, 
a little bit towards the end and we eyeball the inclination I'll try to show you look we lay it into place we eyeball the inclination which is this this inclination here and we marked it and we cut it and we control if it's really done well it looks okay to me now we can do the other side which is has to be done well because if it's done it's done if it's done incorrect you'll have to cut a new strip now we control if it's really well done and it looks okay to me which means that we can apply glue and glue it into place And again, we gently press evenly everywhere till we see the glue squeezing out. We wipe off the axis. And with a nail, we inside corner with a nail, we remove the glue on the inside so that there are no nasty looking drops will dry hard get hard there and look look like very ugly now the bottom strip is done as well from our triangle as you can see now the now we'll we'll do this this strip horizontal one and that strip and then fill up everything in between and then at the end we can make the window which is just strips as well as you can see on the other side it's just strips which we glued it's all strips and I leave it up to your fanta fantasy to your imagination how you would like your windows to be done my windows they are not completely ready the inside still has to be done maybe it will be painted 
but maybe it will be a really F1 of cardboard or something like that, similar to that. And I'll leave that up to you. It's nothing more than just strips. Even the hatches, which I did in another color, but everything has to be painted still. Even those hatches are just three strips. I'll show you very closely. It's strips, nothing more. They still have to be covered with a mixture of thinned white glue with water, some water. And after that I can put a basic color on it and then I can start with my washings and dry brushing to make it more realistic. But it's nothing more than cardboard strips as you can see. And on the other side, which we already did, which we already started now, you, you can see it. Here the top still has to be sanded afterwards when it's glued. You can still sand it a little bit away or file it away. And these are the cardboard strips. There's nothing, there's no secrets. Just do it. Start with your project. Don't keep waiting. Just do it. You can do it as well. Don't keep dreaming. Do it. This is carved, everything. In wood. You can do it in plaster. You can put some coats of white wall paint on it. Several coats till it gets thick enough and then carve your stones. stones. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I hope it will inspire you to do your models as well. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.